All right, guys, I'm making this video just to help you with these equations. Uh, just in case you didn't notice on the back page, there's an answer key so you can be checking as you go. Or if you get stuck, I'm going to go ahead and work through all these real quick. All right, so number one, <laughs> um, if you can't figure this one out, hopefully, you know, three plus two is five. And that's the basic idea for what we're doing when we solve these equations. So this next one, we'll just add 3 to both sides. We have x equals 11. Pretty easy so far. This one, we our x is divided by 2, so we just need to do... Um, we're always doing the inverse operation, or that just means what's the opposite of divide by 2 is multiply by 2. 2 divided by 2 becomes 1. So we get x equals 24. Number 4, we will divide by 3 on both sides x equals 10. Number five, this one has a few steps. We'll start by subtracting four, subtract four. Remember we have the order of the steps if you get stuck still, if you're still stuck on things like this. Last step is to divide by two, divide by two, get x equals two. All right, next, kind of similar one. If it helps you to put that line down the middle, you totally can. We're gonna add three to both sides. That leaves us with negative seven x equals 28. Last step is to divide by negative seven. Divide by negative seven. You do 28 divided by negative seven, get x equals negative four. And sorry, I know these are a little smushed, unfortunately. I should uh, next time I'll make it better. All right, for this one, we have we want to get rid of this divide by five denominator, so we'll do that by multiplying both sides by five. That leaves us with x plus four equals thirty-five. Minus four, minus four, get x equals thirty-one. All right, for this one, first we have the distributive property. We could also divide both sides by four, but we'll practice with distributive property. So four x, four times three, excuse me, is tw um, 12. If you want to use that middle line, remember we just line up the equal signs. So we then subtract 12 on both sides, minus 12 minus 12, left with 4x equals 4. Finally, we divide by 4 on both sides. I'll skip that step at this point. Get x equals 1. All right, we're getting close. Power through. <laughs> All right, negative 6. We'll use the distributive property with that. We get negative 6x. Negative 6 times negative 2 is positive 12, so we have negative 6 plus 12 equals 48. We'll subtract 12 minus 12. I forgot to line this up for the middle line. If you're one of the people that helps out, you can totally do that too. All right, next step. Remember, that becomes 0. We're left with negative 6x equals 36. Then we'll divide by negative 6 divide by negative 6, we get x equals negative 6. For this one, we have a few steps going on. Remember, first step is to look to see if we can use the distributive property anywhere. We can right here. So we have negative 3 plus 5 times 2 is 10, plus 30x, that's 5 times 6x equals negative 203. I'll slide this together. Forgot to do that on accident. And we'll look to see any like terms we can combine. Well, we can combine negative 3 plus 10. Not just because it comes 7. 7 plus 30x equals negative 203. And then we will subtract 
seven on both sides to get the X's all by themselves. I forgot to put the middle line in, sorry about that. And then we're left with 30 X equals, when we do negative 203 minus seven, we get negative 210. The last step is to divide both sides of the equation by 30. We get X equals negative seven. When you do 210 divided by 30, you get negative seven. All right, so these are getting a little more complicated, but I think you can totally uh, still handle them with the skills we've been working on. All right, so this one's a little different. We have like terms that are on opposite sides. So remember, for ones like this, we still check for the distributive property. The distributive property can't be done. We check to see if there are any like terms we can combine. No like terms that are on the same side of the equal sign at this point. So we will try to get all the variables to one side. Um, we've been practicing getting them on the left. You can get them on the left or the right, but I'll just get them on the left. So I need to do a balanced move to get negative 15x off of the right side. So we use the inverse inverse operation. So we're left with negative 10x plus 15. That's what happens when we combine 5x minus 15x, subtract 15, and with negative 10. All of this equals 5. Our next step is to subtract 15 from both sides, minus 15, minus 15. We're left with negative 10 x equals negative 10. Last step, like always, is to divide by the thing x is multiplied by. So we are left with x equals negative 10 divided by negative 10 is 1. We just have one more problem left now. All right, so this time, remember, first we check to see if there's a distributive property we can um, expand. And I know that language doesn't exactly make sense. A more accurate way would be, is there any place that we can utilize a distributive property? So we have 2 multiplied by 3x, 6x, 2 multiplied by 8, is positive 16, then equals. I'll slide this over. I keep forgetting to do the middle line. Sorry about that. All right, equals x minus 14. So now we'll look, are there any like terms we can combine? We have like terms right here. So we combine that, get 16x plus 16 equals x minus 14. Want to get all of the x terms to one side, I'll subtract x from both sides. Remember, we have to do the same thing to both sides to keep the equal sign true, to keep the equality. So we have 15x plus 16 equals negative 14. Next step is we need to get all the numbers on the opposite side of the variables. Subtract 16 on both sides. Last step, we have 15x equals negative 30. Well, that's not the last step, actually. Last step is to divide by 15 on both sides. So we get x equals negative 2. And if you need help on these, there's lots of videos on YouTube, or I'm happy to help you out. Unfortunately, this is just a skill that you have to get down, but I promise you that you can if you practice and work hard at it. So just let me know what you need from me.